Next invis. One stars, don't mess up the skelly. Bro, he's messing up the skelly. They're not gonna get the CC. They're not gonna get the CC. He gets the monolith and the multi, but the CC stays up. Ooh. Today, we're listening to Soundstripe Music. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring us today. Check out their link down in the description below and in the pinned comment. You can get a huge discount by using code LEXNOS today. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup today. The Town Hall 15 Cup playoffs begins, and we got Queen Walkers taking on Repotted Gaming in the round of 16. And let's see who's going to be victorious. Today, it is 7 a.m. for me, way too early. Let's do it. Why do we have no game sound? Rip my capture card again. Oh well. I'll fix it after this first attack. Because we got Gaku in with the first hit. Some Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Five Riders. Queen starting on this bottom left side of the base. Taking a lot of damage. We Rage her up. Ooh. We almost went to ability, but not quite. Next, Coco Loon is in. He'll step up, take out the air defense, continue making her way down toward the bottom side of the base, eventually getting toward that town hall chamber. Looking good so far. Two poison towers on this base. Is he trying to pull the CC troops with this balloon? Maybe trying to pull a poison tower? Don't think he'll get the poison tower because of that annoying... We rage up the queen. Gotta let her do her thing here. Stone Slammers in and Dragon Riders as well. Poison Towers are going to be annoying though. Queen takes the Tesla. Going to go in toward the Town Hall. Warden with the Riders making their way in toward the Eagle Artillery. Okie dokie. Next Rage on the Queen. That's the last Rage in this attack. She'll get the Town Hall. Kings in on the top side with the Phoenix to help support. Royal Champions in with the Riders. Headhunter to help Queen fight the King. man it's got to be like triple ice golem or something does his poison spell hasn't pulled the cc troops headhunters are in warden ability popped fighting the enemy royal champion and can we get her we froze ice golems come out of the cc we got the rc but now we're stuck on ice golems single target inferno tower stayed up doing a lot of damage queen's dead in the giga poison it's looking a little rough here for gaku oh uh... Freeze the air defense expo on the back end. Dragon Rider takes a seeking air mine to the face. Royal Champion's still alive. We got an invis. We got some freezes. RC gets the poison tower. Diggy stuns the inferno. But what about the monolith? Doing a lot of damage. 20 seconds on the clock. Go, go, go. Last freeze spell is in. King's still trying to get more defenses, but he doesn't have a minion on the top side. Uh oh. 10 seconds on the clock. He's going to time fail. Oh, Royal Champion still alive at 1 HP. Rip the time. Gaku gonna fall short at 95%. Lex, will you drink milk for 100k? Uh, easy, yes. Bro, it doesn't make me sick. I'm not allergic to it. It just, I can't digest it. So it goes straight through me. I'll just be on the toilet for like an hour. 100k since. Oh, bro. Still like $10,000, dude. Wait, I can't count. It's like $1,000. I'll still do it. Janice is in and Queen Ability going off early. What in the world is going on here? Queen Charge, Lalo, Battle Blimp into a Tornado Trap. What in the bait is happening? I the Queen Ability pop right away. Got bamboozled by some Teslas. Well, he was expecting that Yeti Bomb to take out the Eagle and it did not. A little awkward. King with Phoenix on the bottom side. We're raging up the queen again. Remember, we already lost her ability. It is super unfortunate. He's only got two rages left on this diamond style base. Queen going toward the multi. Poison tower hits. Gonna do a lot of damage. Rage up the queen yet again. She'll fight the enemy queen. Free spell just to be safe. Wall break to the queen pad. Actually hits the junction. That's a good break. Troops are coming out. Queen skipping the other upper expo. She will be able to reach the scatter shot from here though, which is nice. Exactly what he wanted. 
We're gonna use that last rage spell on the queen. All right. Gotta do a Lalo straight through the town hall and the poison tower. Oh, the king actually pulled the poison. That was so clutch. Last rage spell helps queen fight the enemy royal champion. She gets through her and the expo. She's looking healthy now. We freeze the town hall. Looking really good. We have a haste. We don't. Oh, that's a little awkward though. Not a single haste. To help the balloons get past the giga poison. We might lose a few balloons there, but we still got Royal Champion. I think this is going to be crushed. Minute two on the clock. Royal Champion with the Diggy from the top left side of the base to help support that Queen who's back up to full health. Phoenix in the core getting some value. Warden and Balloons moving through the right side of the base. They're clearing all the defenses over there. Royal Champion has her ability even with no spells. Yeah, this is crushed. What a plan from Repotted Gaming. They're going to be able to start off this match with a three star how about that how about that pro champion and queen live to tell the tale and pressure on queen walkers as they're down now ari is in for queen walkers today oh man why did queen walkers let ari in i don't know but here we go queen charge lalo let's see if he can get a triple for them and save them in this match they need a three star to catch back up Getty Bomb on the right side takes out a couple Teslas, gets the scatter shot and the Expo and the CC pool and damages the Queen quite a bit. It was a decent Yeti Bomb. Is Queen walking to the left? Nice wall break, gonna give her access to the core of the base where a Poison Tower and the Monolith are. Getting low on HP. We're gonna rage, we're gonna drop the poison. Get all the archers in that poison? Yes, he did. Okay, good poison drop. Coco Balloon can hopefully pull this Poison Tower. Yes. Nice. Nice. Coco Loon. That was actually clutch. She's still frozen by Ice Golems. Not even in that Poison. King going for the Town Hall. No Spell Tower behind the Town Hall to stop him. That's looking good. I like this plan a lot. Just got to be careful when Queen gets in range of the Monolith. He decides to freeze pretty early. She's not even in range yet. In fact, that entire freeze was wasted. Unfortunately. Tried to be sneaky and freeze it early, but it ended up being a wasted freeze. We go with the invis next. Pop King ability, he'll take out the town hall. We lose a healer to a sick and air mine. Can King also pull the second poison tower? That would be so clutch. Which side do we Lalo from? Gotta get started soon. He's trying to wait and see if King can pull this poison tower first. But it's gonna go to the queen. Not the end of the world. Lalo from the top side, queen will take out enemy royal champion. I think this charge value is too good for the plan not to work unless he really messes something up here. It's already looking solid. Already looking solid. Lalo's in from the top. We're popping Warden ability nice and early. We got Royal Champion helping the Lalo. Queen's still alive in the core. Can yeah, we keep her alive? Oh, low. She's low. She's low. Earth of Freeze. No, she dead as heck. That's awkward because we still got Queen to fight on the back end. Does have Royal Champion and Diggy. Two healers that switch to the Royal Champion to help her out. Sneaking a few more balloons in on the right side of the base. You need that Royal Champion to stay alive and fight the Queen. But we're starting to run low on time. 30 seconds. Should be enough. We already got cleanup all along the top side of the base done. We freeze the multi. Which means we don't have to freeze for the single or the Queen later. And the single locks onto the Royal Champion. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, she gets out of range. But then she's back in range. RC going for the queen. Come on. Only one balloon. It hits a seeking air mine. RC goes down. Bro, that charge value was so good. I feel like he should have kept the queen alive. Rip. He runs out of time at 97%. General X is in with some Lalo. An early warden. Oh. Okay. Poison Tower goes off. Battle Blimp from the Town Hall. Pops the Warden ability. Two Headhunters. Three Headhunters come out of the defensive clan castle. Battle Blimp. Ooh. Make it all the way. Invis. Rage. Wizards going for the Town Hall. Can they get it? Can they get it? Yes, they will. Going to be able to get the scatter shot as well. Oh, that's a nice Invis drop. Look at the scatter shot next. They survived the Giga Bomb, but they don't survive the Giga Poison. Down they go. Klaus still running this base, bro. This base is getting old. Let's see if it works for him. 
Queen to fight the Hound. Wizard to help funnel. Owl's still alive. That's cool. Use a poison spell to help the queen fight the pups. Now we don't have warden for the rest of the attack. Gotta be mindful of that. King gonna walk up. Don't even need a wall breaker because there is a opening in the walls. Royal champion from the top side with the baby dragon. Freeze on the enemy king. Did he not use a headhunter? I don't know. Poison tower goes off again a second time. Ability goes off. Royal Champion's low on health. Queen stepping up. Fighting the Skelly Trap. And then the X Bow. King gonna be able to take out that multi thanks to the Phoenix and the opening in the walls. Royal Champ pops her ability. We freeze to try and keep her alive. I thought she was gonna target the enemy RC, but she didn't. Poison Tower goes off on the balloons. Uh oh. That Poison Tower is gonna be devastating. He's doing Lalo from the bottom side as well. Popping Queen ability on the top. Freezing the enemy Royal Champion. But as Lalo's thinning out, his balloons are not pathing to the Inferno Tower on the bottom. Tornado Trap's going off behind the Town Hall. We invis the Queen and the Unicorn. But this fizzled out fast. It's the defense that Queen Walkers needed to get back in this match. It's going to be low percent here for General X. But Queen Walkers have to triple to get back into it. We'll see what they can do. How much percent can you pick up here? Something like 84, 85. Got a haste left over that he doesn't need. Save it for Legends attacks later. Minions on the left. Gonna be 80. Still able to pick up decent percent. Decent. Not as good as the two Queen Walkers attacks. They got 95 and 97. Kazuma is in with some zappy zappies for the core. He took out a monolith, two sweepers, and two builder huts. Okay. Do we la low to follow up? Here we go. Queen for the town hall. King to go toward the queen and the poison tower. The phoenix with the king. Cool, cool, cool. Diggy's in with the Royal Champion. Wizard on the right. Poison Tower goes off. A lot of damage slowing down that King as well. Queen gonna pop a Billy. Take out the Town Hall. Nano Trap goes off. Queen gets the Expo. Can anybody pick up that Scatter? Royal Champion's low on HP and the Queen is still alive? Ooh. We get her. But we don't get the Scatter. CC Troops are out. Okay, it's gonna be a little awkward here. We do have one poison spell. Need to make sure we get the headhunters. Gotta get the headhunters. Uses the baby dragon on the hound. Uh oh. Valkyrie. Did it take out the headhunter? I think it did. Clutch Valk. We send the stone slammer. Can it take out that poison tower before it recharges? Oh. I think it recharged. Awkward. But the poison doesn't affect the stone slammer, so we're okay. Here we go. Lalo from the top side of the base. We still got, a, got another poison tower over there to worry about. Inferno baby with some balloons coming out of the stone slammer. Lalo looks pretty straightforward here on the top side of the base. The main part, or the tough part, could be killing the royal champion on the back end with the poison tower there. He's gonna need some juicy headhunters. Gonna send all four to the king. Inferno Baby's trying to kill the king, but it can't lock on because the king keeps moving. He decides to pop Warden Ability early. He's still saving all four Headhunters. Wish he would have saved Warden Ability a little bit longer. Poison Tower. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, this back end is going to be rough. Does he have another freeze? No. Headhunters are getting in. Taking out the Royal Champion, but he's running out of balloons. Scattershot locking onto his Grand Warden. Bro, it's going to fizzle out. Oh gosh. Rip. Kazuma. Not gonna be able to get it done. And Queen Walkers are 0 for 3. My goodness. Not looking solid for them today. Again, a decent percent attack, but they need some triples. This one gonna end up falling short here at 90 percent. Unless that Inferno Baby can get one more thing. Yes, it does. 91. Percent. Nice try. Wolf Shaz is in. 
for Repotted Gaming. They got a huge chance to take a commanding lead with another three star. We'll see if they can take advantage of it. Queen charge, Lalo on this one. Healers on the queen as she walks up. Flame flinger on the right side of the base. Two poison towers and a monolith over there by the town hall that he's going to try to charge into. That's pretty brave. Ballsy charge this is about to be nice. Coco Loon pulls the first poison tower. Monolith hitting the queen though, doing a lot of damage. We wall break. You have to freeze. Yes, he does. Monolith is crazy. Rocket Balloon's coming out of the CC. He goes with another freeze. Was that even needed? I don't think so. Could have just dropped the poison. On the top side, getting some decent value. Distracting the Eagle Artillery that's already awake and shooting. Queen deals with all the pups. Flame Flinger getting that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Out of way. Okay. Phoenix brings King back to life. Can he pick up that upper multi before he goes down? Or does he not have enough time? Go King, go. King's dead. Phoenix trying to get the multi. Eagle actually locked onto the Phoenix. Eagle locks onto the Queen next. He gets the Town Hall. Should be good to start the Lalo pretty soon. What's he waiting for? Yeti's come out of the Flame Flinger. Interesting. He starts the Lalo there. Kind of wish he had air troops instead of Yetis. Here we go. Lalo with the Royal Champion from the bottom right side of the base. We rage up the Queen once more to get through the Poison Tower. And in toward the Eagle Artillery. We pop that Warren ability nice and early. Headhunters help the Royal Champion take out the enemy Queen. We got a free spell for this multi on the back end. Queen takes out the enemy Royal Champion. We're going to freeze. Found the Tornado Trap. We're spinning. We're hasting our way in toward the multi and the Tesla farm. Got to get through that Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion getting stuck on Skellies and the Barbarian King. She might go down. We didn't save any Headhunters, did we? We got the Poison Lizard with the Warden, but we're going to go ahead and invis the King up. It's looking good as Balloons soar their way into the backside of the base. They take out the Air Defense, take out the Scatter Shot. Down goes the Royal Champion. But look at all these Balloons alive into the back end of defenses. Even the Royal Champion still up. It's another triple for Repotted Gaming. And Queen Walkers are in big, big trouble now. Oh boy, nice attack here from RPG. Klaus, the man, the myth, the legend, is in to save Queen Walkers today. They have to triple out and get defenses nonstop for the rest of the match. He's in with Queen Charge, Dragon Riders, Early Yeti Bomb, pulling the CC troops, getting a lot of funnel value here. Yeti Mites even hopping over the wall, fighting the scatter shot. Here comes CC troops. You need the poison, homie. There's the poison spell gonna have to rage her up too. Klausnos, need the rage. Waits as long as possible to drop the rage. Okie dokie, he's being efficient. Tries to funnel the storage on the left, doesn't quite get it down. Queen takes the scatter, gonna fight the enemy queen. We wall break her to have access to the multi. There's a rage tower there and we're about to see a raged up expo, multi, and even a monolith. Raised up monolith sounds kind of scary, bro. Rage up the queen. Wall break to give her access to the town hall. That looks juicy. Rage tower still hasn't activated. Okay, now it does. Expo raged up. Monolith raged up. We're going to go with the freeze. Queen gets the tower. And go for the monolith. We're going to invis her. Rage her again. Two seeking air mines go off on the healers. I don't know if he lost two or only lost one. Hard to tell. We pop King Ability. Queen going for the Town Hall. And here we go with the Riders from the right side of the base. Minions already in over there. Minute 20 on the clock. Warden, Royal Champion, in with the Riders. We can send Headhunters, pop Warden Ability, and get through the enemy Barbarian King. Queen still has her ability. She should be able to fight the enemy Royal Champion. We pop her ability kind of early. Tornado Trap spinning us. We freeze on the top side to help the Riders. Queen takes out the enemy RC. We lose all the healers. Can she at least get the multi too before she goes down? She will. Looking decent. Road Champion Diggy. Stunning defenses. We got one more freeze. Still got RC ability in the bag. It's looking good for Mr. Klaus. Balloons on the top side. Take out the Archer Tower. Royal Champion. Going to be able to get the scatter shot. He's got it. He's got it. 
What a plan from Klaus. Getting the three star for Queen Walkers when they desperately need it the most. Now the question is, can they get the defenses needed to have a chance in this match? 24 seconds for cleanup here. Royal Champion working on the trash buildings. Headhunter on the south side. Perfect split here. He's got a nice attack from Klaus. Getting it done against General X's base. Potted Gaiman with their fourth attack. If they triple, it's pretty much over. If they don't triple, Queen Walkers are still in this. Queen Charge, Lalo with a jumping spell. All right, against this ring base. From Ari, early Yeti Bomb. It's one secret air mine too, but he gets over the wall. Yetis look like they're meant to take out the scatter shot and pull the CC troops, and they do just that. Perfectly done so far. E Titan and Ice Golem coming out of the CC. We will take those out. When do we drop the healers? Being patient. Dropping some balloons for the Tesla. Not sure if that was actually needed, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Really wants to make sure the funnel is safe. All right. We're going to make her way up. We got just the jumping spell to get her all the way to the core. No need for any wall breakers here. King with the Phoenix on the top side. Cool. There we go with the jumpy boy. Nice. One more Coco. Aggressive rage on the queen. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. Slightly aggressive rage because now she's not in the rage. Only the healers are and she's taking a lot of damage. She has to go to ability. Oh, gosh. Gosh, no, she doesn't. We go with the freeze instead. She's okay. Why is she jumping back out? Queen, you crazy girl. Get back in. Rage, freeze, do something. Do something. Oh my gosh, the freeze was late. Queen goes to ability. Woo! Oh, he doesn't have any more rages. That's what happens when you take the jump. You don't get a whole lot of rages. Bro, invisor, invisor. Oh, that was scary. Invis at the last second. She's going for the town hall. Now she's distracted by the queen. Now she's going back for the town hall. We get it. Down hall secure. Does he have enough to lolo through the rest of the base? Popping the warden ability here. Road champions with the lolo. There's still a lot of base to go though. Eagles all the way on the back end. We got one haste and that's it. Uses the haste on the left. The balloons were pretty spread out. Road champion gets stuck on the king. Did we save any headhunters? We did not. He needed to save some headhunters. RC pops ability. Warden pushing through. Three balloons on the eagle. Air defense stayed up on one HP. Builder Hut was repairing it. Queen gets the Inferno. Ooh, queen goes down. It's just the Warden, the Diggy, and the Healers. Ari able to get a defense. And Queen Walkers are still hanging on in this match by a thread. Ari's base saving them right now. Who's got the last attack for Queen Walkers? Stars with the last attack. And if he triples, it all comes down to the final attack of Repotted Gaming to decide this match. Oh, this might get really close at the end. Warden sniping a few more buildings, but runs out of time here at 89%. Stars, the Lalo God himself, is here to really save Queen Walkers today. It's triple or go home right now for Stars. It might even be triple and still go home. But he has to triple to give him a chance. All the pressure on his shoulders right now. And he's going in with a Skelly Bat Lalo. With a Golem. Okay. Just going for the CC and the Monolith. Let's see. Yes. No. Oh, he's going for the Multi. Next Invis. On stars, don't mess up the skelly. Bro, he's messing up the skelly. They're not gonna get the CC. They're not gonna get the CC. He gets the monolith and the multi, but the CC stays up. Ooh, no poison spell either. Hopefully it's just a triple ice golem CC that he can ignore. Oh, this could get really awkward. King goes up like he's supposed to. Queen going for the town hall. Do we have a headhunter? One headhunter. Yes, we do. King takes out the enemy royal champion. That's looking good. If queen gets the town hall and he can just ignore the CC, that would be best case scenario. 
Bro champions in on the top side. Skeleton spell to help the queen. The golemite pulls the poison tower early. That's looking good. Bro champion getting the scatter shot. Oh, CC troops are coming out from the barbarians. No, it's a lot of archers. And one headhunter. Ooh. Couple balloons pull the other poison tower. Can the royal champion get the headhunter? Please, RC. Get the headhunter. Queen going for the town hall. Oh, she already popped her ability. Gets the town hall with the help of a freeze. Royal champion did get the headhunter. Barbarians killed most of the archers. He's got a chance. He needs a good Lalo. And it's stars. Will he have a good Lalo? Let's see. Balloons are in from the bottom side of the base. If he goes fast enough, the poison towers might not recharge. Sends the next hound, sends the headhunters, pops a juicy warden ability. Ooh, just barely clipped the hound in that warden ability. We're hasting our way into the multi. Hound moving across the base. We got another hound from the right side, sending a couple balloons. Stone slammer on the back end. Go, go. Two hounds trying to distract that back end scatter shot. Red bomb farm in the core. Ooh, there's our last freeze on the scatter shot. So many different groups of balloons. Stone slammer getting through the eagle artillery. Poison tower is recharging. Oh, that's awkward. That's really awkward. There's our last haste. Oh, we're not getting the scatter yet. Oh, the hound pop. That's even more awkward. Warden, owl, trying to get through it. Balloons, dragon rider on the top side. Hello, tornado trap. Can we take out the poison tower? Please. Scatter shot doing a lot of damage. Warden, owl at full health. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, why is this so close, bro? So close. I'm nervous for him. Down goes the expo. Down goes the scatter. Down goes the poison tower. 20 seconds for cleanup. Stars misses the skelly donut and is still able to recover and get it done. What an absolute gamer. It's a triple for Queen Walkers. They have the better percent. Which means all the pressure now on repotted gaming triple or lose situation with their last attack team fur is in final attack of the match it's triple or lose even a 99 percent is not good enough here they cannot catch up on percent they need the three stars to win queen charge lalo with six rocket balloons and no wall breakers no jump spells okay. Early battle blimp on the right side. Going for the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Getty Bomb. Gonna be able to take out that multi. Maybe the Expo as well. Looking decent. Can you get that Eagle? <laughs> Brother! He got the Eagle too? What a Yeti Bomb. That was pretty high value. Not gonna NGL. Queen wrapping around. We're not dropping the healers just yet. As soon as she targets the air defense, she, he can drop the healers. There we go. Coco Loon healers are in. Nice minion funnel. Queen should go in for the scatter. Maybe. Oh, the pathing is just phenomenal here. This plan is looking so good. The Coco Balloon even pulled another two seeking air mines. Oh my gosh. This is looking so good. Queen Walkers might be in trouble. But we still got CC troops to worry about. There's a monolith on that left side of the town hall. Here come the CC troops. Queen picks up the poison tower before it recharges. Could not be going any better for repotted right now on this attack. It's looking phenomenal. King takes out the multi with the help of the phoenix. Also going to get this air defense. Clutch. Poison spell able to help get all those pups. Couple of balloons on the left side. Nice. Very nice indeed. I have to just go with the Lalo some point soon. Here we go. Yep, from the right side of the base. Warden, Hound, Balloons making their way in. Queen will pick up the Town Hall. Monolith is doing quite a bit of damage here. We do have the Royal Champion, but we just send her with the Lalo straight in on the right side of the base. Invis for the Queen to take out the Town Hall. Next Rage for her as well, trying to hold her ability. Freeze on the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. One minute on the clock. Time shouldn't be an issue at all. He doesn't get the Headhunters in the Warden ability. Queen spinning in the Tornado Trap, but she takes out the enemy Queen. Healers are getting bamboozled. We do pop the Warden ability. Royal Champion making her way through the top side of the base. It's triple or nothing. We freeze the Monolith. Queen is still taking a lot of damage in that Giga Poison. We get through the Scatter. Royal Champion still has ability. We got one more freeze in the bag. Queen goes down. We pop the RC ability. 
He's got it, doesn't he? Still has a freeze. Got it. Diggy's still alive. Unless this monolith can clutch up, but he's got the freeze spell. He's got the Diggy. Ooh, Diggy stuns at the last second. RC on literally zero health. And unless it's a time fail, that's a repotted gaming victory over Queen Walkers in the round of 16 of the Town Hall 15 Cup. They take the win. 13 stars to 12, 95% to 96.6.